Well, hello everybody, welcome back to my second fly time video. Uh, it's going to be a simple fly today, just a black buzzer tied in my style. I don't know if it's the right way or the wrong way to tie, but it's how I've tied it for years and it's always caught me lots of fish. As you saw at the beginning there, it's on a size 12 grub hook today. And I'm just going to tie in a bed of black thread to form the body. Nice touching turns all the way down the shelf towards the bend. Now I've reached the bend of the hook just put a half hitch in just to keep all of that thread nice and tight. Now I'm tying in some silver um, wire. This is going to form the rib of the fly. Now I'm bringing the thread all the way back up to the eye of the hook uh, to make the body of the fly. And again, tying in a half hitch there just to keep it nice and tight. Now I'm just going to wind the brick material up the shank of the hook. Uh, reasonably close turns, but not touching turns. Again, trying to keep it all nice and tight. Then just tie that off at the end. Now I'm going to add in some orange feather. It's going to take about three or four strands for each side of the buzzer. And tie that in. It's a little bit tricky doing this bit. So I'll give it a good couple of turns and then wind the thread back down the thorax. And then I'll pull the um, rest of the feather back up towards the eye of the hook. I'm trying to get three or four filaments of feather each side. It's a little bit tricky this bit actually. Even though it's a very simple fly to tie. But eventually I'll get there and uh, tie it in. I know it's not the neatest looking fly in the world, but it seems to do the trick. And I can, when I'm not filming it, I can tie it very, very quickly. And like I say, I've caught loads and loads of fish on this fly. I could have added some breather filaments there in white at the head but I don't usually bother as this one seems to do the trick. Now I'm just finishing it off with a little coat of super glue all over the body. Now you can use UV resin now but I'll find super glue okay. Just 
just make sure I cover all the thread and under the fly as well obviously. Trout have very sharp teeth and they bite through that thread in no time at all and the fly be useless. Well, if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe i've got another fly time video coming out in about a week's time so be sure to tune in and watch that thanks again for watching cheers